Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Yours Truly Making here. I promise to do all things design from interior to fashion and where they meet. Welcome to my first video of where fashion meets interior design featuring Hugo Boss. We will discuss a short history of Hugo Boss and I will show you not only the new collaborative collection with the one and only Naomi Campbell, but the newest Boss Home collection. Let's get started. This year, 2024, actually marks the 100th anniversary of Hugo Boss. Hugo Ferdinand Boss established his workshop in 1924 in Metzingen, Germany, in the near from Stuttgart. It's about two and a half hours from where I live. It wasn't until 1950, following the Second World War, and under the guidance of Boss's son-in-law, Eugene Holy, in English Eugene, we'll just keep saying Eugene from now on, that the company first produced men's suits. In 1960 came the first off the peg or off the rack men's suits. This set the foundation for the company's future success. A decade later, in 1969, Eugene Holy's sons, Jochen and Uwe, sorry, no English translations for these names, took over the company. This led to them reshaping the company into an international fashion group we know today. Early 1970s led to the launch of Boss Brand, following a more high quality and stylish aesthetic demand. An era of extremely narrow shoulders and two button single breasted blazers. The Boss brand was officially registered as a brand in 1977. In 1985, the company is listed on the German stock exchange in Frankfurt and becomes the Hugo Boss Group. The year 1998 marks a major milestone for the company because the first women's collection was launched. The next year, Boss Orange was released a casual collection appealing to the younger, more progressive consumer. 2000 finally brings a women's collection under the Boss brand, focusing on exclusive designs and feminine looks to appeal to modern, successful, and self-confident women with a natural zest. Their words, not mine. But now I totally understand why they chose Naomi for their collab collection. She is the epitome of each one of these adjectives. Classic tailoring as a tribute to the roots of the fashion house become more and more relevant within the women's wear collections, emphasizing the precise cut and the sophisticated details of the individual piece. Of course, then the women had to be included in the Boss Orange collection launched in 2006. Okay, let's finally dive into the Naomi Campbell X Boss collection. This is under the Boss brand, remember? emphasizes on high quality and a certain aesthetics. Feminine looks to appeal to modern, successful, and self-confident women. As far as my research has shown, Hugo Boss has done partnerships, but not such a collaboration as with Naomi, who has created a style with oversized unisex suits and interchangeable pieces to create different Boss woman looks, especially while traveling. Totally my style. Back in the day, I shopped men's suits at vintage shops to achieve this look. Okay guys, we're starting with the double-breasted pinstripe suit. And I will leave all the prices down here in the corner of the outfits. Now, I usually am a, when it comes to pants or, or skirts, a German 34, which is a 2-4 US. Um, but I always buy German 36 because I have long arms and broad shoulders for any jacket or um, tops, blouses, sweaters. But I went ahead and bought these pants in a 36. Yeah, they are a little big, but I wanted them to be baggy. I wanted that look, that oversized slouchy look, and I needed enough room to be able to tuck in the oversized blouse and any sweater or anything I wanted to style with the outfit, but you see how everything fits. And you see here in the picture from the advertising, 
or from the website. They styled it with a black blouse, but I decided to go with a white one because I'm a more white shirt, white blouse girl. I knew I would get more use out of using the white one. So let me know what you think. And I just threw on a pair of my cowboy looking boots. They're from Paris, Texas. Actually, they are thigh high boots, but I wear them very often just to the knee with them bunched down. And you can't even tell because the wide leg pants. So, and uh, the top I bought also at a 36, just so it's very oversized and I have enough length for my arms. So I'll let you have a little bit more of a look. Okay guys, and I definitely wanted this outfit also, this layered look. And basically this is just created with a um, armless little uh, vest here and then with the suit vest. Now when it came to the um, sweater, I went ahead and bought it in a large. Of course it's size in SML, XL. I decided to go to a large because I just wanted to make sure that it really fit under the large oversized shirt. And the vest, I mean, you really don't have to say anything about it. Love it to death. Okay guys, and going back to the vest, you see how I have a complete suit look, all layered. It's also Naomi showed it, but without the shirt. And I even went further and put a fourth layer on it with my nice little cream. My nice little cream coat here that I like. And I can even then carry one of my favorite Celine tie bags with this look. Luscious, isn't it? And I remember a few years back on the runway from uh, Hugo Boss, Naomi Campbell also in a similar outfit, layered suit with coat on and I think there's another picture I saw with also her in a cream coat and as a matter of fact in the collection there is a cream wool oversized cape but I thought I already have a cream coat I mean how often does somebody wear a cream coat I know I don't because I'm always worried about getting it so dirty so I thought since I had this one I didn't need the cape but for those who are considering the cape it is available. Moving on to the next pieces. These are the slender pants here. With a great little front zipper slit accent. In um, the ads, they were um, styled with a nice black mule, which is also part of the collection. But because I have a ton of mules, I just threw on a pair of my favorite Manolo Bromic pairs. And this is the long arm silky knit top. Now the pants, they are sized in small, medium, large. I went ahead and got a medium because of the length. There's one thing I forgot to tell you guys, I am 5'9". So if you're thinking about the lengths of the pants, they're very generous. I don't think I need to get anything held by anybody that's shorter than me. My, will definitely have to, anybody taller than me, I'm quite sure it's still feasible with the lengths that they are produced in. Yeah, so as you see here, medium, which is a little loose, but still, I don't like my things super, super tight. And with the top, the knit top, again, I went with a large because you see this cute little thumb hole detail here. Well, I just wanted to make sure my arms were long enough and I think I didn't go wrong. And lastly, the jacket, which you can style with the pants. It is a single breasted one button jacket, but nice open arm detail here, which I love. And that's why I decided to style it with the long arm sweater. Push them up. Love it, it's a great, very light stretch material. 
And of course, this is a great outfit out on the town. And I'm going to style it with one of my favorite body crossovers. And I'm ready to go to dinner or shopping in Paris. Okay, now to Boss Home, which was established in 2011. It is totally based on a licensed agreement for bed and bath products, meaning a trademark owner, in this case, Hugo Boss, grants permission to another to use that trademark on mutually agreed terms and conditions. This will explain why the majority of Boss Home cannot be found on their website. I was more interested in the new bedding collection and found everything on this site, Yves Dorlomme. I assume is how you pronounce it, which had many other luxury bedding companies and probably has the permission to produce them under the trademark names. I will leave the link in the description box below. But I must say I was impressed and ordered several pieces to combine four different looks. I saw the play on stripes similar to the pieces from Naomi and on the color gray plus materials resembling, for me, boss shirts and ties. Don't be fooled by the look of texture like a nice tweed suit. The bedding is super smooth and luscious, 100% cotton satin. Does this print not just remind you of a nice dress shirt or tie? I opted to mix two of the colors offered to create my look, which went perfectly with my beloved existing pillows. The Japanese style floral collection stayed within my gray and white or cream theme and I did love it, but I did not order because unfortunately some of the pieces I wanted were already sold out. Okay guys, let me know what you think. Are you planning to pick up anything from either collection, Naomi's or Boss Home? Thanks for stopping by and as always, yours truly, heart maker. Bye. Emphasizing the Emphasizing the yeah, emphasizing, emphasizing, emphasizing. The